Hey everybody, one of Weism here, 4.39 a.m. Thursday, March 20th, 2014. This is a guinea pig session. I've previously upgraded Trap Shadow, Box Stock, all the way, Top Path, Bottom Path, both Soul Gems. And now what I'm doing with Freeze Blade is I'm taking the 5 video approach. Reason for this, I wasn't really getting the feedback I wanted. It was kind of neck and neck, really wasn't making my mind up. So what I decided to do is actually do videos in said manners and kind of see what you prefer as I've done freeze blade here I kind of think this way might be better for everyone uh, um if you want to fully research the character it would require watching five videos the good news is the videos would be short they would be to the point on the plus side for me if they ever lost commentary due to frame drops or something crazy it's easier to fix the shorter the video is um, but the main thing uh, like right now I'm, I've decided I'm taking freeze blade down trail freezer so if you're only interested in trail freezer you could search for that you can find it you can go to my blog post and see okay here's where he did trail freezer I'm gonna check that out use it as a reference point compare it to the path you took see if you wanna switch all that stuff and uh, what I like about it instead of you like having to go into one of my like 20 to 30 minute videos and just fish through for maybe the part you wanna see this takes you right to that again for those of you that want everything in one you can still get that, it's just kind of going to be watch all five of the videos. That said, I have not made my mind up. I still want your feedback, what you want to you know, see, what you think would work the best, be most efficient for you. But like I said, as I've now just back to back done Trap Shadow and Freeze Blade, I'm kind of seeing the advantages to this. Um, I don't know, I just think it would work really well. That said, I took Ice Sculptor for the top end of Freeze Blade here. I think that path is awesome. Um, I'm hoping to land Nitro Freeze Blade. Obviously, that's where I'll take the other two paths and complete videos four and five for you. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started here with Trail Freezer. Again, these long intros and outros, that'll be a thing of the past, uh, making the videos even shorter as soon as I have fallen upon a format that everyone you know will enjoy or at least the majority uh, we're gonna back out of here uh, what I want to do bottom path it began with speedy skate um, it's shaping up very nicely uh, we picked up ice trail which slows enemies glacial coat was armor it gave us plus 20 which is really awesome and then um, bladed butterfly is kind of like the funky little skater thing going down so let me kind of showcase this for you uh, this is all going to be you know bottom end primary attack on the secondary whatever you need to call it but uh, this is what it's looking like it looks really cool uh, you just kind of dash um, works well uh, what you do when you go through an enemy you're going to do 16 uh, sometimes you fire off a 24 when you hold A you do that little funky spin somersault corkscrew thing that figure skaters do I don't really know what it's called. Uh, it does 36 to 54. Um, so that's what we need to know. We've got 16 to 24 and 36 to 54 and then plus 20 on the armor side. So I'm going to come over here to Mr. Gorm. Hop in the power pod. We're going to take the bottom. Uh, you've got two choices. Trail freezer. Dash around and leave behind a freezing trail that damages an enemy any enemy caught in it and then iced skater become a professional iced skater damaging and knocking back enemies with powerful skating techniques that one does look pretty cool but for whatever reason right now I'm just kinda more interested in trail freezer uh, fear not assuming I can land nitro uh, I'll take these other two paths for you in the event that nitro eludes me I'll probably break down and just pick up a standard freeze blade and uh, take the other two just because I think it's gonna be awesome plus my nephew loves this guy uh, you know it's, it works well for him cat like ice cold winter cool I mean, it's just it's perfect for him so uh, that said I'm gonna do trail freezer here uh, again, you can only pick one. If you're unsure, don't select anything. Your only way out of that will be to reset the character, so make sure uh, you only select the path when you're fully ready. 
Alright, ice trail right here, you saw that. Glacial coat plus 20 armor. Bladed butterfly is kind of like that little combo corkscrew, 36 to 54 deal. Now, we've got flash freeze, it's going to run 960 with our discount. Press A to dash. Dashing will now leave behind an ice trail that damages enemies. Okay, we can't get that one. We're gonna back out. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh wow, it's so it's like added the uh, chunks of ice. If you will. Looks like what is that gonna do? 15s and is that a 20? So 15 to 23. Um, pretty cool. Let's see what the duration is. Definitely lasts a bit longer, so that's a perk. Now, when we come back in here, we're going to pick up the final upgrade for this path, which is going to be nice ice. Flash freeze, which is what we just bought, does increased damage. Nasty case of freezer burn. 1280 is the price with our discount. We're going to grab that. Let's just back out of here and then get to Soul Gym later. So, let's see what we're doing now. Looks roughly the same. Uh, maybe a little bit wider path and wider ice chunks. Okay, so we're up to 20s and 30s now, if I'm not mistaken. 30, yeah, so 20 to 30, that's pretty significant. And uh, now, I guess we can come in here and get his sword in and complete the upgrades for the bottom end. Again, this is the Trail Freezer Path, so we'll come down here. Uh, we've got Flash Freeze. Nice ice, which again up things 20 to 30. Soul Gem for the bottom half of Freeze Blade. Iceberg Endurance. Dashing does increase damage and does not stop when attacked. 2240 is the price with a discount. Let's grab that. Alright, we'll back out of here, back out of there, come back to me. So assuming, you know, there were enemies here hitting us and it stops the dash attack, uh, we just keep going. Uh, essentially, if I can, let me try it against this wall, I'm just going to dash into it. You can keep going, so I mean, essentially, like, say that wall was an enemy hitting me, I would just keep being able to attack. So... Dealing the 20s to 30s there, 24 This is a pretty awesome character. Um, and then you have to remember if you hold A, you can fire off that little uh, figure skin. Um, the main thing for me is that ice sculpture path, which I know that's not the bottom end, but it's really cool. So, um, I haven't taken the other one, but I can say ice sculpture. Uh, that said, this is Trail Freezer. Pretty much showcases to you right here what he can do. Um, got the Soul Gym, got everything going. 24 uh, when you run into something. Uh, then these little uh, upgrades here, you're going to wind up doing 20 to 30. Um, box stock, also, you've got the Speed Skate Deal 36 combo spinorama thing. And then plus 20 armor on the bottom end as well. So. Uh, that's that. That is Freeze Blade. That is his Trail Freezer path. Again, assuming I can land Nitro, I'll actually take him down Ice Skater. That way you can kind of compare that one and see what you prefer. Um, again, bear in mind, this video is a little bit longer just because I'm kind of explaining why I'm doing it and that I want your feedback to see which method of the video you prefer. Uh, so cut all that out and I mean this would probably be around like five to seven minutes which for some of you would be awesome some of you would prefer the full videos again let me know um, I don't know what you want if you don't tell me so I'll try to accommodate whatever the majority of people want that said at this point in time now that I've done trap shadow box stock all the way to maxed out down both upper and lower paths and then freeze blade right now three videos 
base upgrades, top and bottom. Um, top path for video number two, video number three being bottom path and soul gym. I'm kind of inclined to say this way might be better, might save everyone more time, be easier to find, uh, ultimately be more efficient for you in your research. So uh, that said, um, if I do go that way or if that's what most of you want after you see this perhaps, for those of you purists that are used to like the 20 to 30 minute videos where I go from nothing to everything, uh, you can just watch all five of them in a row. You can watch three of them in a row. Uh, essentially, like right now, I took Freeze Blade down, Ice Sculptor, and Trail Freezer. If you only wanted to see Ice Sculptor and Ice Skater, you could literally custom tailor which of the videos you watch, you know, so uh, keep that in mind as well. So, uh, nonetheless, please let me know which method you prefer. My guinea pigs right now, again, Trap Shadow. You can watch that video from start to finish. We went box stock. Top and bottom paths complete with soul gems. And then Freeze Blade, where right now I'm going to have three videos up. Base upgrades for the top and the bottom. Video number two will be upgrade path. You know, top upgrade path and soul gym, video three, bottom upgrade path and soul gym, and you can kind of make your determination based on that. Please let me know, again, as soon as I have pegged down what I'm going to do, uh, like say that I upgrade Blast Zone and Dark Blast Zone next, if I know that everyone wants to see the five video format, I don't have to ramble on about this stuff and it's going to make your life that much easier, shorter video, etc. So once we settle on something, you won't have this junk to listen to. But again, uh, this is me trying to get everyone involved, help you out, make it as A, enjoyable as possible for you, and B, as useful as possible. So uh, again, if you just wanted Ice Sculptor, this format lets you just come into the blog post or YouTube and find the Ice Sculptor video to see what it does, what damage it does, how it compares with the other path. Uh, similarly, you know, the other route, you know, you've got it all in one nice complete package. Uh, that said, you know, with the other two paths, I'd have to make another video, and that's where the issue really came from. So, uh, that said, I've got it outlined on the blog. You can cast your vote there in the poll, or like I said, if you just want to leave a comment, let me know. Once again, the last time I'll mention it, Trap Shadow and Freeze Blade here are my guinea pigs at this point in time. Let me know which method you prefer, and uh, from there I can come in next time I do the upgrades. Hopefully I've got something pegged down that you know I'm officially going to stick to for everyone, and uh, we'll just take it from there. But right now I'm kind of personally leaning in this direction. I just think it works a little bit better, uh, saves everyone a little bit of time. But that said, I'll quit rambling. It's 4:52 in the morning. I gotta go to bed. Gotta be at work here in a couple of hours. So uh, that said, upgraded Trap Shadow and Freeze Blade. Awesome characters. Had a great time. I have to say, um, I might be more impressed with Freeze Blade at this point. Again, that's just based on the two paths I've taken for each character. I haven't seen the other half of their options. So uh, we'll see how that pans out. Hopefully. Again, I can land Nitro and a second Trap Shadow to kind of check out the other stuff. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please take that blog link at the top of the video description. It will showcase everything on Freeze Blade you want to know. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Again, thanks for watching, and we will catch you back here as we continue upgrading our Skylander Swap Force characters.